It's potentially a big break for the January 6th committee. The cooperation of someone who could not be closer to the effort to rope then Vice President Pence into the former president's election scheme, a firsthand witness to much of it, the vice president's former chief of staff. We've learned that Mark Short, one of former Vice President Mike Pence's closest advisors, his former chief of staff, is cooperating with the January 6th committee. Along with my colleagues Ryan Nobles and Mike Warren, we have learned that the committee subpoenaed Short a few weeks ago, but that unlike some other Trump officials, he's not fighting the subpoena. And Anderson Short's cooperation is a significant development because he is, as you say, a first-hand witness to so many critical events. He was with Mike Pence at the Capitol on January 6th. He was also in the Oval Office on January 4th when former President Trump tried to convince uh, Pence not to certify the election results. So um, all of these things, our sources say, add up to one thing. Short's assistance signals a greater openness among Pence's inner circle, with one source telling me the committee is getting, quote, significant cooperation with teams. What's up, everybody? Major Retire Richard Ojeda here, and this is what everyone needs to understand. The inner circle is caving. The worms that work for Trump are now out to cover their own ass, and this doesn't bode well for good old Donnie. Pence's entire team was made up of Washington career hacks, people that will go anywhere and do anything to stay close to the power and hold on to their jobs. These same people now see the writing on the wall, and if they want to have any kind of career or life for that matter, they need to stay the hell away from Trump and any remembrance to January the but now look, I despise these people and I hope they never work again. But that doesn't mean I don't want to hear them sing in front of the January 6th special committee. I want to hear everything that they have to say. Better yet, I want the entire country or the world to hear what was going on in Trump land the days leading up to, day of, and after January the 6th. Uh, just for context, Short is considered one of Pence's most loyal aides. It is hard to imagine that Mark Short would cooperate with the committee without Pence's blessing. Mark Short is not the typical Trump crony. He's not an idiot. For all intents and purposes, he's more on Team Pence than Team Trump. So that is important here because that could mean we start seeing a rift take place when they testify. So Meadows, Bannon, those cockroaches, we know they're gonna do everything in their power to save Trump's ass. But Short is different. Mark Short is thinking about his and Mike Pence's future. So I guarantee you that he will be saying some things that Trump is desperately trying to hide. This is also a huge shift in the January 6th investigation because Mark Short would not be cooperating if he didn't have the blessings of Mike Pence. What this means is everything that Short says to the January 6th committee will be in defense of Pence, and that can make for some blockbuster testimony. So folks, get your popcorn ready. Now, I know this is a very slow process and we're tired of waiting, but have patience. These investigations require tens of thousands of hours of rigorous research, interviews, and they are leaving no stone unturned. And believe me, Trump is feeling this every single day. I believe the investigation will conclude with Trump knowing planning every methodical action that took place on that day, including the violence, as well as the attempted murder of members of Congress and maybe even the vice president. A mob doesn't just ram randomly come armed and ready for war, invade the Capitol with directions to certain offices and locations. This was planned, organized, and well, thankfully, at the end of the day, a few Capitol police officers put it all on the line and saved America. And we owe them everything. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.